What's up everybody, this is Mad Reaper from Mad Reaper Studios. We're here today reviewing Series 1 of my Lucha Underground figures. This is the first review up of Pentagon Jr. figure loose is um, based off of a couple different parts here. We have a road dog boot. I mean, these are road dog legs that I've used from an old Elite. Um, this is a Devon Dudley torso. A couple of my early Pentagons didn't have Devon torsos. They actually had uh, like shield shirted torsos. Um, I thought they might have been a little too skinny. They didn't have that proper fit so uh, after some trial and error uh, ended up with the Devon torso and I think it looks great same with the arms a couple of my earlier versions had a bigger Alberto Del Rio arms I think I wanted a bigger arm to kind of compensate for the size uh, this one has the Los Matadors type arms I think it's much better fit overall this is my own personal figure too so this is the result of a lot of trial and error uh, this is a custom head sculpt too. Uh, this is the first head sculpt all of my figures have had this one. I've molded and casted it. And uh, this is one of the designs based off of one of the personal masks in my collection. So moving on to the hands here. I got a couple different hand sets that are interchangeable. This hand set is um, from an MVP figure. I started doing crazy designs on the figures. Here, let me see if I can't zoom in there. There we go. I started doing some crazy glove designs um, because I really started doing them for my clients, and a lot of my clients ended up getting some really badass glove designs, and my own personal figure was lacking in that department. So I've created it. A couple other ones are, you know, I have the John Cena hand that does the Zero Miedo. And these tattoos, uh, I have a couple tutorials on YouTube but this is a uh, decal set that I've done or I've used from uh, curb stomp decals I get a lot of my decals from them um, I could paint it but at the end of the day I'm making a bunch of these and I'm making a series of them so it makes more sense to have that uniformity from the decal uh, the shirt this is my own shirt that I wanted on mine. This isn't a decal. This is my own method of applying shirts. Uh, has since been improved as well. This sash is actually vinyl. Vinyl with the decal overlay. And I started doing that because my original idea of a rubber one was just too thick and too blocky. Um, but you can see here, there's great articulation. He's got, you know, his boots move back and forth. Um, he's, he's very snug. Uh, this custom paint mix on the pants here, I'll try to get a good shot of it. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see the sparkles inside there. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that paint job. It's, just, it's a mix of a gunmetal and a gloss black, and I can't remember what else anymore. I, I mixed up a lot of it. This is one of my updated, like, experimental ones with uh, a glitter on it. You can see the lights really picking it up. I'm really liking the way that turned out. I've used a lot of different colors of paint and glossy, matte, sparkle, non, to try to really give it that uh, appearance of, you know, like a luchador mask where it's made out of different materials. And so we got that custom paint mix on the road dog legs, painted the boots. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is. Uh, we'll show them in the package next, and uh, that'll be it. And here we are. You can see the figure is packaged here. Uh, this is a custom package designed by myself. It's uh, open. It's removable, so that way you can take the figure out. Uh, yeah, overall, then you got the back design of the card here, which, since it was my first series, it's a little more basic. It's just got a, got their picture. Um, yeah, Pentagon Jr. 
they've all been numbered I think out of this first type of them this was you know zero out of five this is a master and uh, yeah I guess you know in conclusion you know some of the toughest parts of this custom were is really narrowing it down and keep improving to where I where I settled on the Devon torso and, uh, to me I'm the first one that's used that everyone else used to use Ray Mysterio I never really liked the way that looked on him um, even even changing the arms, I thought my original arm choice was good, and then settling on this one is even better. Throw dog legs were something that everyone else had to use beforehand, and it ends up working out the best in terms of playability. But uh, I think the head is really where I think I've made the biggest improvement on from previous customs. You know, everyone has those cloth type you know mask flaps on pentagon and that's something that i really wanted to stay away from i don't like the dull look of that you know same with the, the real hair I, I like prefer them to be plastic and and as hard and durable as possible so for me it was quite an accomplishment being able to achieve that type of uh, head sculpt that's so accurate but yet that's completely cast out of resin so that's pretty much it uh, you guys can find these on MadReaperStudios.BigCartel.com uh, Hit me up on Instagram. You can always commission me for some of these. Uh, Pentagon's the one that I still like to do, so I I never really turned on commissions from him. He's 150. He, you know, that, at least at the time of this, that's where how much he's costing. Uh, if I end up getting over flooded with him, you'll have to increase. But Road Dog parts are expensive, and you can see how many different parts he's made up of. So. Uh, that's all for this one.